You may have noticed a few ribs in the captain lately. They definitely have their place in the boating order of things. People might think of them as just tender boats, but they dominate when it comes to diving, spearfishing, or just hooning around. But do they pass the ultimate test? How do they go as a fishing rig? The kings are biting off Sydney. It's time to sharpen the gaff and head out. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe we use a net instead. Don't want anything going pop. Anyway, a rib of choice is a Patrol 760 built by Highfield. They're a direct descendant of the Aussie Swift range of alloy ribs that have been in service for 30 years. They're sold in almost 40 countries and they reckon they're now the biggest manufacturer of ribs in the world. Actually, you may have been pulled over by one in water police colours. I know Trav has. On paper, the patrol looks like a good thing. It's more than 24 foot long, almost 8 metres, but weighs about half of an Eden Craft Formula 233. What it does share with a formula is a sharp angle at the bum. In this case, 24 degrees. Unlike a formula, you don't need bulk horsepower to make it move. Just to be sure though, this model is fitted with a 325 Suzuki with counter-rotating props, one of our favourite outboards. The counter-rotating props keep things nice and level and avoid torque steer when coming off waves. Now, the Patrol has a soft landing, which you'd expect with 24 degrees. It's awesome fun to steer with massive grip, but still feels safe. It really does put a smile on your dial. There's a 285 litre fuel tank offering a cruise range of over 200 nautical miles at 20 knots. Apparently this baby can get up to 50 knots, but we had a pretty loaded up with gear today and we didn't see those numbers. It might be a tinny underneath, but there are some nice lines above deck. Up front, there's U-shaped seating that doubles as a sun lounge. It was great today, we had Ali up the front there as well, busting out the cheese platters. Perfect. This area is also great for sort of dropping people on and off wharfs, and there's also great storage underneath and the anchor locker. As pointed out by Rob Kirby, who builds Nyad boats in Western Australia, ribs cheat a little bit. They're long and narrow at speed, then at rest, the tubes drop down to the water level to create stability. In this case, the high field is made of Orca Hypalon featuring six chambers, so if you pop one, you can make it back home, no dramas. So, how did it handle as a fishing boat? Well, the distinct lack of rod storage in this boat was a little tricky to overcome. We had to jerry-rig up some plastic rod holders and clamp them onto rails. We also used an esky as a live bait tank. But if you actually own this boat, you could mount rod racks on each side of the console, no worries. It's obviously a bit compromised offshore with limited freeboard, but that big footprint on the water makes you feel safe and secure. It also backs down pretty hard too. I could certainly live with the high field for squid fishing, catching some bream, trevally, and casting to kings on the surface. It's also perfect for sort of running up the rivers, putting onto the beach. It's just, it's just great for that sort of inshore stuff. Not to mention, the ladies will always prefer a sexy rib over a hardcore heavy glass boat any day. In fact, today we had Ali on the shoot and she loved the fact that the rib can be converted from fishing mode to diving mode to beach picnic mode and even sunbathing mode in a matter of seconds. The Patrol 760 really is a versatile beast. You can also legally swallow up to 12 people, so get your posse. Price wise, you could get the base model one of these for about 100 grand or fully specced up like we have it today, 140k. This baby's actually for sale right now, second hand for 110. On this trip, we racked up some, some pretty impressive miles. We spent a whole day cruising around pit water, casting surface fish, fishing a few pilchards, that sort of thing. And then the next day, all the way down to Sydney Harbour, fish Long Reef, bit of a burn around the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge to keep the girls happy and back home in time for a beer. 